What is Uber up to now, ladies and gentlemen? So this passenger says, it's to make you book your ride faster. Customer says Uber is lying about the number of available car cars on its real time map. And there's like, a, I'll leave the link. There's like a TikTok attached. Straight up says Uber has been lying to me this whole time. Well, what have they been lying about? Londoner and TikTok user Saki thinks he may have caught Uber lying about the real-time nature of its cars on the road. Are those cars really on the grid, right? You'd have to sort of have two phones and be in a specific position, maybe standing outside. And if it says, okay, there's, well, three cars there, can you verify it? Right on the spot, right on the street, can you verify it? Um, if you've ever hailed a ride on the app and before booking it saw a bunch of cars riding around in your area on your Uber map, you may have thought to yourself, oh, that's one close by. I should book right now, right? I mean, that sort of prompts you to get that car. Oh, it's there. I got to get it. Um, I mean, I've been, I've been a sucker for that. I needed to get a trip to the airport. Like, oh, wow, there's two or three swirling around right now. They're close to me. Let me get them. Let me lock them in. But then you've got to wait around 15 minutes for a car to show up, even though the map showed you one that was practically inside your living room. Um, Saki seems to believe that this is intentional. He claims Uber does it. Uh, does it create a sense of urgency on the riders party posted his findings after conducting an experiment, which he documented in a viral TikTok video. That video, by the way, the link is below. Was Uber caught lying? POV, you realize Uber cars on the map aren't actually Ubers. The TikToker writes in a text overlay over the video, it begins by showing a map of the available rideshare vehicles in Saki's area. The Uber One customer shows that a car is available nearby for a ride that costs around the equivalent of $14. His clip soon transitions to what he appears to claim is damning evidence that the graphics of the cars driving on the streets aren't where Uber says they are. So you just have to really look at this um, series of maps here and the pictures. Uh, he's right in that location, right? There's, he's on the street. That's what Uber says it is, and they just don't match up. You, you might want to conduct that type of uh, experiment yourself, right? Um, Saki goes on to write that the reason these animations on the map exist is to get folks to book their rides more quickly. If only people realize it's to make you book your ride faster. He adds in a text overlay of the video, Uber has been lying to me this whole time. Is it true? Many said that Saki's video proved the car maps were actually real. However, as they pointed to the black cab driving down the road right in front of him. This sparked a conversation between various users in the comics section who engaged in some polemics as to whether black cabs could be booked through Uber. In short, they can, even if Saki and others didn't think so, and the long-time car driving service in London's even announced its partnership with Uber Online. Becoming a certified London black cab driver is no small feat. Drivers are expected to complete a test called the Knowledge which necessitates that each prospective taxi not only know the name and location of every street in London, but they must also know the shortest or quickest route to it, right? That's all we have apps these days. Ominous reports of the knowledge of facing, um, of facing extinction thanks to GPS navigation. NPR reported that several black cabbies have come to the defense of the knowledge stating that dedicating oneself to memorizing these routes is infinitely more effective than utilizing traffic monitoring GPS units. Not only that, but there was another cab driver who claimed studies have proven that cabbies who demonstrate efficacy in passing the knowledge test have demonstrably greater long-term memory retention. Oh, that's all bullshit. Black cabs, Aside, however, Saki isn't the only person who believes the Ubers shown on the map aren't real. So we'll let you decide. Um, we'll let you decide on that. You can conduct your own tests, go outside, you know, run the passenger app, look at the streets, look at what's around you. If it's busy, can you identify the cars? Interesting video. Open for a lot of comments. Thank you.